Good evening, everybody. Cooksville opened the 2012 football season at home with a new turf field and new bleachers. Let's see if the Tiger players had a new attitude on the field. The opponent was Southern Boone. Craig Shorten dropped from the sky and brought the American flag with him. Nice job. Cooksville in black. Scott Schwinn takes the pitch and picks up a key first down as he takes it all the way down to the 14-yard line. Later on in the drive, number 24 would cap off a 16-play drive with a two-yard touchdown run. Great blocking up front. Southern Boone would answer with a Jeremy Hill scamper. You know what, folks? I changed the filter on my camera too soon. My video when the Crooksville fans were feeling blue when Hill would score again on a long, long run, but on the ensuing kickoff, Austin Carlisle takes it 90 yards for the touchdown as number 10 turns on the speed. What a great, great run for the senior. Then it's going to be Mitch Kriegsheiser and Jonathan Brose. They play a little pitch and catch down to the 11. Later in the drive, Schwend will find the end zone. Kirksville wins it big 51 to 22. It was the annual pennant game down in Davis County as the Mustangs hosted the Centerville Big Reds. And this game was all Mustangs. Kickoff in Bloomfield just after 7.30 this evening. The Big Reds of Centerville just couldn't produce a running or passing game. They turned it over on downs and that's when the Mustangs took over. Calvin Uck worked great with Damon Dixon tonight. Touchdown Utt with the two-point conversion after the Dixon run in for the touchdown. Michael Starcevich taking over for Centerville after the kickoff. And Starcevich, who had 10 touchdowns last year, he fumbles, and it was recovered by Damon Dixon. Dixon, who's just huge on the game, you'd hear from him later. They would capitalize off of that turnover, and it's Dixon with the touchdown. Davis County and another two-point conversion would follow after that. The Mustangs win 43-7. to Knox County was home to face perennial power Marceline. Knox County in black. The Eagles move the ball early in the game. Kellen Gillespie will take it outside, cut it back inside. It was good for a 40-yard gain. However, the drive would stall as the Marceline defense came to play tonight. But so did the Tiger offense. Check this out. Kyle Bell makes some noise as number three picks up the first down in heavy traffic and he wasn't done. Bell will cut back this time and then just turn on the pure speed. He will find the end zone. Marceline wins it 35 to nothing. Two playoff teams from last year squared off as Fairfield visited at Albia, and this game lived up to the expectations. The Blue Demons coming off a 7-3 year. They have high hopes for this season. Brett Leshen opens up the scoring for Albia. The returning two-time letter winner would be huge then. Leshen, one of the better quarterbacks in the district, has a brother as well, Shadow Leshen, who picks this ball off from Dylan Fry. And then later on in the half, Albia's Austin Luce barrels into the end zone. Final score, Albia 27, Fairfield 20 in a great game. Pekin opened their 2012 season with a matchup against the Tigers of New London. And the Panthers, well, it got ugly pretty quick. The Tigers lose the ball in the backfield. Nazareth Rambo would pick it up and rumble into the end zone. Then Pekin strikes again on defense. Dylan Light picks it off and takes it all the way, but a penalty would bring it back. No matter though, Panthers knocking on the doorstep yet again. Brandon Bayon crosses the goal line. Pekin wins 88 to six. And as we saw earlier tonight, Kirksville impressed in their home opener, but tonight was also about the much anticipated showcase of the newly redone Spain Howard Field. Here's a look at the sights and sounds from a special night at Kirksville High. The opening of Spain Howard Field version two. First down for Kirksville at the 21 yard line. Oh, 
My favorite part of the night is probably just the whole student section and the band and cheering and cheering everybody on. I just don't know how to describe it because I'm so proud of the field and I know that John would just be hilarious with it. It's just a beautiful field and, and everybody's been so, so good to me. There's definitely a fun atmosphere to be part of tonight. Now let's take a look at some more area scores.